Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am Cheryl at the Made on Sunday Studio. We talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So before we begin this video, I would so appreciate um, subscribing to my channel. I am almost at 1,000 subscribers, guys. That is my goal this year. So if you want to help me uh, reach that goal, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Now for today's video, we are going to be going over how to create and design animated GIFs, really easy ones on Canva for free. So um, it doesn't really matter which version of Canva you have, even on the free version, we can create these really awesome and fun animated GIFs. I'm just going to show you right here two examples of animated GIFs that we will be creating and designing today. Um, so a lot of my clients have actually been um, requesting for, you know, some sort of like simple animations or video based or GIF based kind of graphics for um, their designs. Uh, it can be used for their website. It can be used for their social media content like Instagram posts and Facebook posts. It's just a little bit of animation actually goes a long way um, to make graphics look a little bit more lively and um, it just catches your eye a little bit more. So if you're interested in kind of using animated GIFs, um, simple ones on your website or whatever social media, um, I'm going to be showing you how to create that today. So let's hop on onto my laptop and let's get started. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome to my laptop. Um, just to kind of reiterate the two different GIFs that I'm going to be showing you. The first one is going to be pure photography based. And this was used for my client, Jackie sung on her website. And as you can see, the animation kind of goes like a little bit, like just like three photos. And then um, I had her kind of use photography that was um, very similar in poses, but just slightly like movement. So there's like, it looks like she's just animating some of her photos. Um, but anyways, that is example number one. So this is really cool way to kind of showcase some of your beautiful brand photography. Um, and you would just get your photographer to kind of uh, take photos that are the same position, but slightly different, and then you can animate it yourself. And then this is example number two with my clients at the Buckless Bombshells. And um, this was an is actually a Facebook post for them, but it can be used for Instagram as well because it's in those dimensions. It's just a square dimension. And as you can see, there was only a little bit of animation in here. So everything stays except for the call to action, which is this Friday and then um, you can see a little bit of that sprinkle that I have animated slightly. So um, these are two examples of how you can just show slight animation using uh, simple GIFs um, to create a little bit more lively um, graphics. So, all right, let's get right into it. This is Canva. All right, so for that first graphic that we created that looks like this, I'm just going to show you like what the final um, thing should look like and then I'll just create it from scratch with you. So to do that, you're going to have to go to, so doesn't matter what dimension that you're going to be designing in, always click on animated social media and I know it might not be a square that you're making but we can resize it afterwards. So in order to make like just make sure that you are clicking on animated social media. And then once you get in here, um, these are going to act as the different video frames that you're designing on. Um, but because we are going to resize this to a, the dimension that we want it to be, I'm going to change it to 20, actually 2500 by 400, and then you can resize. Perfect. The reason why we wanted to click on animated social media is because now you have this editing timer available so that you can time the amount of um, each slide is going to be playing. 
So with that, I'm just going to open up the folder where all of my graphics were saved. Perfect. So um, we are just going to be um, dragging in those photos. So actually, to make it super even, I'm going to create some grids. I'm going to do a grid of three so that it is even like that. And then I'm going to be dragging in those photos. So I believe the first photo is this one. And then we'll drag this down. And then the second one is this one. And then the last photo is this one. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's actually this one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Got it. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger because I want it to look around the same size as the others. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to duplicate this layer because now we need to create the second frame for this GIF design. So you go to this graphic down here and you click on these buttons and you click on duplicate. Now you have two frames with the same photos, but the second frame, we need it to be those second frame photos. So let's change up those photos. This one right here, move it down. And then this one right here. And move it down. And try to make sure that the photos look pretty similar in terms of like the positioning so that it looks like she's just animating in one spot, right? Move this one here. Move it over. So now we're getting pretty close. Now we have two frames, right? So frame one is her kind of like this. And then second frame is her kind of like slightly animated. Um, so now we can actually change the speed of which um, each slide will play. So um, because we're going to be using this on website, I really wanted it to not like flash so fast because that would be so annoying if She's flashing super fast and you're trying to read all of the content around it. So I actually want it to be a little bit longer, almost like in the corner of your eye as you are reading the text, you're like, whoa, did that picture just animate? So because of that, we're going to make this timing like four to five seconds long. So I'll just do four seconds. So remember to change the second one as well. Four seconds and we are good. So we can rename this if you want. Um, GIF, and then we're gonna download it as a GIF. So just go all the way down to GIF, and then make sure that both of them, so it's all pages right now, and then download. Perfect. So I'm just going to drag this download into a folder here. And let's play it. So in order to preview a GIF, um, if you click into it, you're just going to see the two frames. But if you actually click on end uh, spacebar, it will give you a preview of the GIF. So go to the GIF and click on the spacebar. And now you're going to see this animate. And it's going to keep going back and forth, back and forth with four seconds apart. So just to show you the end result, um, I have uploaded into Jackie Sunga's Squarespace website that I designed for her. And as you can see, it just animated. So you're like reading the content, reading the content, and then suddenly it animates and you don't even notice it because it's actually four seconds apart and you're like, whoa, that's so cool. So that's kind of um, what option one of how you can animate photography in a very subtle way that's still very professional and sophisticated, but um, just a little bit fun on the side. All right. So 
Option two, I'm going to be designing something that's more graphical and less photography. So this is a Facebook, the Facebook post that I animated for uh, my clients, uh, Buckless Bombshells. Um, so I'm going to, again, do this from scratch with you. We're going to go back to creating a new design and we're going to create an animated social media post. And as you can see, this is in the correct dimensions already. Um, again, I'm going to um, drag up that folder where I have all of my graphics. Perfect. So once we have this, we're just going to give this like a background color. Perfect. And then um, this is the photo that I wanted to include in the campaign. So I'm just going to drag this in. And then we have some text in there. So let's just put in any text for now. I'm just going to say, like, um, a new surprise. This is just an example. Um, so let's just change that color to, um, let's just say, ooh, maybe a, a beautiful red color. And then we are going to add another text here. I'm going to say this better. Perfect. I'm going to make it bold and also um, just to make it a little bit nicer looking. I'm going to do that. Perfect. So I want this to actually change color. So the first color is going to be, let's say, this color. Okay. And then there's also those sprinkles that I put around. <laughs> they're not sprinkles, but they're like little, little graphics that I put on the background. So I'm just going to make them like really small as if they were little sprinkles everywhere. It doesn't really matter where you put these. This is just to showcase how you might animate it. All right, so once I put these in place, we got one more. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Perfect. Okay, so now we have frame number one created, right? So let's create frame number two. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the three dots here and duplicate this page. Now, what do we want to animate on the second frame? So anything you change on the second frame here um, will cause that slight animation. So for me, because I wanted to keep it quite subtle, I did not want to animate the main text as well as the main photo here. So I'm just going to animate everything else very subtly. Because remember, we want to go for sophisticated animation here. Like I really want to create really beautiful design. So um, nothing too cheesy. If you animate everything, it can get quite cr like crowded looking or just like too much in your face. And that's not what we're going for. We're going for subtle animations for a sophisticated graphic that still looks really like fun. So I'm going to animate this and I'm going to make this a different color. So this yellow is not bright enough. I'm just going to do that yellow there. And then I'm going to subtly move these graphics around so that they look like they're just slightly shifting. Okay, perfect. That's it. That's all you have to do. So now we will adjust the timer on each graphic. So for this one, I do want it to kind of like look like confetti. So it needs to animate a little bit faster than the previous graphic that I created. So I'm actually going to do like 0 0.5 seconds here and feel free to play around with how quickly you do this. Um, so I'm going to do 0 0.5 seconds and that creates a really quick kind of animation. 
So we're going to download it again as a GIF. Perfect. I'm now going to drag this into here so that we can view our new GIF. And there you have it, guys. See, um, this creates a really awesome and subtle and sophisticated graphic because it's not too in your face. Some of the elements still stay around, but there are subtle animations around it. And if you're scrolling through, let's say, Facebook or Instagram, this is a really great way to create a graphic that creates a little bit of animation and liveliness to your graphics without being too overbearing or just having a really easy way to animate things without really without actually filming a video. All right, you guys, and that is how you create an animated GIF using Canva all for free and super easy and quick. So the next time you do your brand photo shoot for your business, remember that you can create these really easy animated GIFs or GIFs, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and so get your photographer to take poses where you're in the same spot, but like slightly different. And you can create those really fun animations for your website or on your next social media graphic. Yeah? All right, I am so excited to see how you guys use this tutorial in any of your graphics moving forward. So remember to tag me on your socials or comment in the comments below and show me your work. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. If you enjoyed watching this video, then give it a like. And also I have filmed so many other related Canva tutorials on this channel. So check out the rest of my videos for more tutorials like this. Have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. When can I see you again? But maybe this time not as just friends I'm falling hot, baby, you